There is so much drama happening at The View. So much drama, so much drama. Mary Trump got Meghan McCain back together. Y'all click this like button. Y'all share this video. Y'all leave me a comment. Y'all, I'm feeling like, like this sickness ain't going away. I got to get tested. I got to get checked. Go get checked, y'all. If you need to get checked, go get checked. Welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Please give me a big thumbs up. Please like this video. Please leave me a comment, y'all. Help your boy. Help your boy. Subscribe to my second channel, JOA TV. If you are a business out there and you want YouTube promotion for your business, your already established business, please do email me at JOA Media One at gmail.com. Y'all, I got a goal this month, so I'm trying to get my views up and everything, all right? So help your boy, please share the video with your friends. That's why I say that all the time. Please share it on your social media pages. That's free, okay? Anna, Anna Zoe on my Twitter page, that's free, okay? It don't cost money to share. It don't cost money, all right? So if you missed what Mary Trump said about Meghan McCain yesterday, I'm gonna play that clip. I'm gonna play Meghan McCain's response. Then I'm gonna play the uh response back from mary trump baby is getting juicy all right million dollars in campaign cash in just the first six months of this year and advisors sound like they are gearing up for another run in 2024 do you think he will run and if he doesn't recent polls have actually suggested republican republicans liking don jr do you think he will want to run uh, those are pretty depressing uh, numbers there. I, I think that says a lot more about the Republican Party than it says about anything else. Um, I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that one thing Donald proved is that using racism, racism as a platform was successful. And I think that's why we see so much strife in this country. And we need to continue having the kinds of conversations about race and gender that you have. This is an incredibly powerful platform. And I think the more we talk openly about these things, it's, it's a shame that your colleague didn't have the courage to come on and have this conversation with me. But um, I appreciate that you are all willing to take up these very difficult subjects because racism, in my view, is at the heart of everything that's wrong in 21st century America. So Meghan McCain actually decided not to show up for yesterday's interview, uh, although she was present at The View, well, for her job yesterday, was because, you know, when Mary Trump showed up in the beginning, I really wasn't feeling her because she had a book out talking about her, her uncle. And of course, Meghan McCain questioned her saying, well, you aren't even around um, Trump's uh, kids, Ivanka, Don Jr., and of course, uh, Mary Trump just pretty much said that um, I'm just like really don't know why you're so uh, fixated on me being involved with his kids when I'm way much older than they are. Um, and she was not invited to the wedding, I believe. But she did attend the White House earlier on when Trump was president. Um, and their relationship tanked uh, because I think Trump... The family pulled out health care for Mary Trump's um, close family member who has some type of, um, you know, health health issue. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that's the reason why so she, lawsuits. And then she helped, I believe, with the whole tax tax um, documentations for Trump, allegedly, I believe. And so uh, Megan McCain just feel like she's a grifter. And I could see her reason as to why she feels like that, because I feel like. Really now, we don't need her anymore. We really don't need Mary Trump anymore because it's like you said what you said. You wrote a book. You sold, you, you, um, you sold a million units, a million copies of your book in a day. And it's like you're coming out with a new book. It's like, what more do you have to say that you haven't really told us about Trump? We know he's a damn racist. We know this. We know that. So I could see Meghan McCain's disposition as to why she did not want to be um, present during um during the interview because she trended because of Meghan McCain's name. Let's just be honest here. Mary Trump trended because she acknowledged that there is a co-host. I mean, the only one that wasn't there was Meghan McCain. So she did trend and she, she went out there to promote her book. So Meghan McCain has a point, whether you like it or not. So Meghan McCain, as you all know, ended up uh, taking it to Twitter 
instead of taking it on air professionally and saying, there is no good Trump family member to me. Continue to wish they would all just leave me and my entire family the F alone. And I can see what she means because I did acknowledge in uh, previous videos that the Trump family was not invited to the funeral by John McCain, by the whole entire family. But yet, Casper the Ghost, Eric Trump, and Ivanka Trump attended the funeral. And it's like there needs to be a sense of pride and respect. You know, that if you are told not to come to a funeral by the entire family, including the person that is deceased, don't show up to the funeral. I mean, that's disrespectful and that's a lack of pride and they should have kicked them out. Um, to me, the funeral wasn't actually really a funeral. It was more of a publicized event because you had people there that really, um, you know, aren't really close to John McCain. You had the Obamas there. You had the Bushes there. You had all kinds of people. So to me, it was more of a a celebrity type of funeral rather than just a normal, regular funeral that you and I know of. So, baby, when I tell you Mary Trump, class back, she was like, I have plenty of respect for Megan's parents. It's too bad she can't take responsibility for her own actions. That's the problem with entitlement. It's dangerous. And so is our failure to hold power people, powerful people are accountable. And then she did link something. I don't know what this link is for. Okay. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, Mary Trump, you're proving my point here, girl. You prove my point. The girl linked her book on the Twitter feed. On her Twitter feed, she linked her book. Okay, so this is why I said Megan McCain has a point. So she said what she said in that tweet, and you see that little link? That's a link to her book, okay? So I'm just like, you told us everything that we really need to know. You're not really highly involved in that family to tell us anymore. You're more, your relation to Trump is, 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 even less than the equivalency of Stephanie Wolkoff's, Melania Trump's former best friend's relationship. She has more relevance in terms of Trump than you do because she was really close to Melania Trump. I mean, you know, and that says a lot. So, girl, we heard everything. We don't hear and we don't need to hear no more. You really don't have anything else to say but to offer books and sell your units. OK, I don't know if your psychiatry thing is 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 not doing well, but it's pretty obvious that you're trying to get clout now. So leave the girl alone. Like, I know I talk about her, but I'm a blogger, okay? And I'm not trying to fake the funk. I, I talk about her. Like, but Mary Trump, now we, we you know, now you're trying to fake the funk, okay? I ain't faking the funk. She is. So, leave her alone. Leave her alone. I talk about her because um, I, I'm a fan of The View. I talk about her because she continually ignites and say bad things about Palestinians. I talk about her because... Um, She's always in the media, the Daily Beast, People Magazine. Everybody talk about her every day. It's not just me. And Fox News. So it, she's part of pop culture, politics, believe it or not. Um, and she gets the most watched views. Now, just because I talk about her and I get views on that, that doesn't mean that's the reason why my channel is doing so well. Because there are so many other people that talk about The View that I don't even know of, I only know me and this other person that do it, and we give views. Other people don't, okay? So there's strategy, there is um, interest, there's talent in that, and there's, um, you know, some type of um, gift in doing that, because not, I mean, if you post a video about Megan McCain on YouTube, you're not going to get the views that I get, okay? It, it just doesn't happen that way. YouTube don't, if, if that works that way, everybody would be on YouTube by now, okay? So it takes strategy and it takes talent, okay? So my 35K subscribers was from my hard work and not from Megan McCain. Don't give that half a, you know, her point, you know? I just so happen to go viral. Like some people go viral, we're talking about The Real. I can name some YouTubers now. Some people go viral, we're talking about R. Kelly. Some people went viral, we're talking about um, whatever talk show they talked about or whatever hot topic they talked about. I mean, everybody's channel was ignited by a topic and it led them the pathway to talk about other things. That's just how that's just how it works. How it works. Anyways, let me know sing in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. So you'll be the first to know when I upload. Y'all, if I have asthma, I'm gonna be pissed off. If I have something wrong with me, I'm gonna be mad because this COVID is crazy. I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad.